Okay, so this is a new thing I'm gonna do. Let's see how it works. Uh, I'm gonna call this uh, trucker story. Yeah, just tell a truck story about some of the crazy stuff I've seen. So this story took place in Glenwood Canyon, July the 13th, 2012, if I remember the date right. And what it was is, is I, I was hauling drywall out of Gibson, Colorado. And I was hauling it to Glenwood Springs, Colorado. And to get from Gibson, Colorado to Glenwood Springs, you gotta go through Glenwood Canyon. Glenwood Canyon, the speed limit in there is limited down to 50, I think 55, 50 or 55 miles an hour. And I was driving down this canyon, doing right around the speed limit because the cops in that canyon are do not play. I mean, they catch you speeding, they're gonna pull you over and give you a ticket. And I don't, truck drivers don't need tickets. So I never sped through there. It just wasn't a good idea. But it was an overcast day and it was kind of raining. Yeah, it was raining. And what I had what happened was is I going through the canyon, there's a tunnel just before you get into Glenwood Springs. And that tunnel is actually called No Name Tunnel, and it's right next to No Name Road, which is next to the No Name rest area and the reason I know that is because when I went into the tunnel the thing that really sucks about tunnels is there's a change of light so the way the Sun was hitting me before I went into the tunnel was coming right down under the windshield and as I go into the tunnel it goes from really bright to dark and you get we got I got into the tunnel and traffic was completely stopped because on the other side of that tunnel up probably a half mile down the road was a traffic accident and traffic had stopped for that accident and I saw so I come into the tunnel I'm already doing like 45 50 miles an hour and I see the stop traffic and I, I I start slowing down I didn't hit my brakes it just starts slowing down and all of a sudden I feel a slam in the back of me and I look into my mirror and I go, damn it, as the truck, as I'm slowing down, a truck came in behind me and he'd already been riding my ass through the whole entire canyon. But I come in, I start slowing down and he, boom, smacks, rear ends the back of the truck. And just as I look into the mirror, I look back and I see this, it was a Volvo come flying in and he sees that everything stopped and he slams into the back of a, a Walmart truck who then slams into the back of a CR England truck and then boom hits me again and as that Volvo comes flying into the tunnel I see him slam into the back of the Walmart truck and just he hit and he folded out and the semi so it hit dropped the motor down and slammed into the wall of the tunnel and so I go out and I'm, oh shit and I go running out there and we start running down and I see truck after truck after truck is just you know just boom 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 and thank God thank God Almighty that this accident did not involve one car. It was all commercial vehicles. The whole entire accident was just commercial vehicles. And as I saw this accident coming back up towards me, I steered to the right. So that last truck slams into me and I, I kind of go off to the right and I avoid it. The, the, I, if I remember right, there was a van full of kids in the front of me. And so I go back, running back there, and to check, make sure everyone's okay. Uh, and uh, that's when I saw the all the trucks that it, you know, like boom, 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 boom. Saw the Volvo on the very back end. 
and then I go running out to the other side, which come if I had to do again, very bad idea. Uh, when there's that much carnage going on, you basically want to stay with your truck. And but I went running out of the tunnel, and thank God there was no more cars. They'd all pretty much come to a stop by that time. That Volvo hit so hard that he stopped, and I think there was about a five or six foot gap from where he would have hit to where that truck came in, or where it ended, and then where he landed up on the side of the tunnel. And um, that was pretty bad, but no one got killed. It was a miracle. So I go out of the tunnel, I call my company, tell them I've been involved in an accident, and then I call 911. They bring, the uh, state, state patrol comes in, and um, it, it, it was just horrible. It was just, that was the worst accident I've ever been involved in, and um, that was the first accident I was ever involved in, in a commercial vehicle, actually in any vehicle. And then, um, let's see, what else happened? The cops come, they stop um, all the traffic, and they start taking accident reports. Obviously, my push, uh, there's a bar that goes across the bottom of a, trailer called a DOT bar or a it's basically a bar that prevents cars from coming up underneath the trucks so that got shoved in but uh, the load on the trailer had shifted because it, it was just a flatbed it shifted about I think about two feet forward and that it just that was sucked so I couldn't go to the customer and deliver I had to go back to Gibson so they could the customer could inspect the load and make sure it was still okay. And then I had to drive. Uh, I had to drive my truck Bobtail with no trailer to go all the way back to Denver and go and get a pitch test because I was involved in a, an accident. Now I'm going to try to put some uh, photos in there. Of uh, I, I have photos of that accident still, but um, I remember that accident very well. Be also, because that was the week uh, I how do you explain this? It was a good. It was that was like a Monday, and they let me come home early from work to because I was shook up, and that's the weekend that I uh, started talking with. Angelica, my, she became my wife, and I remember ta texting her on my phone, telling her I'd been in an accident, but I'm okay, and that's when she actually really started talking to me on Plenty of Fish, because that's where I met my wife, but uh, I'm going to throw some pictures in and so you can see kind of what happened, but um, see how that works out, but uh, that's the story of the no-name tunnel accident I was involved in, so all right. Tell me what you think. I got a few more stories I could tell. Um, let me know what you think. All right. Thanks.